I just want to um, walk you through uh, the work that I need you to complete in place of class on Tuesday. Uh, first of all, just let me say thank you for um, being flexible with me. Um, I really appreciate it. I um, didn't know I was going to be <laughs> with my son in the hospital this week. Um, so this was very unexpected, but um, everything should be okay. And I should be back to teaching virtually with you guys on Thursday. Okay, so I'm going to show you what I want you to do in place of class on Tuesday, since we will not be meeting face to face on Zoom, or sorry, not face to face, we will not be meeting virtually on Zoom. There are some things that you should complete. So first of all, go to module one writing lessons. And you should complete this handout here, compare and contrast transition words and practice. So I'm just going to open this up and show you. So the first page is just some um, charts that show you different kinds of transition words and phrases that you can use. Uh, the first uh, set to show how to show similarities and the second set how to do differences. And there are examples, uh, use example sentences using each of those. Then there is practice on the second page. Uh, using the transition or connector to help show the relationship between the two ideas using uh, correct grammar and punctuation. Use those charts on the first page for guidance. Once you complete these sentences, the answers are on the last page. So you should check those answers after you complete the sentences on your own. So that's the first thing that you need to complete. Go back to module one. The second thing that you need to complete is the uh, grammar lesson for module one. So I'm going to open this up, the grammar lessons and assignment. So we're going to review simple present, simple past, present progressive and past progressive. There are some videos to watch, a video about the simple present, a video about the present progressive, um, video about simple uh, past and past progressive, uh, so you should take a look at those videos, watch those videos carefully, and then there are some practice exercises for you to do. If you have any questions about that, you can email me. Um, you'll also notice that there's the assignment here, uh, the, the assignment simple and progressive verb tenses. You can start working on that if you want to, but I have extended the deadline for that to Sunday at midnight. Uh, Sunday at midnight, so Sunday, October 3rd at midnight. That way, if you have any questions, you can ask me on Thursday before you complete the assignment. But if you're comfortable and you want to try the homework assignment, that's fine. You can do that as well. The last thing that you should do is you should prepare for writing your essay in class on Thursday. I will give you about one and a half to two hours to write your essay in class on Thursday. However, you should choose your topic and prepare an outline before you come to class on Thursday. So here you can find the essay assignment. Uh, again, this is in module one, essay assignments folder, the comparison essay assignment. So this just has a review of the compare contrast essay. Um, you are going to write a four paragraph essay, an introduction, two body paragraphs, and a conclusion. And you should use the point by point strategy. So body paragraph one should focus on one point of comparison, and body paragraph two should focus on a second point of comparison. We are not using the block strategy. So you should use point by point, but you're only choosing two points, not three. Here are your topic choices. These are the same as the discussion post. Your life now versus your life as an, um, as an adult versus when you were 10 years old. Your life in the US versus your friend's life in your country. And life for parents versus life for people without children. So you choose one of the topics, choose whether to compare or contrast, and you should brainstorm some ideas. So look at the example plans. These are some example outlines. You should create your own outline. So you can make a plan first and then organize your essay more um, specifically using part three, an outline. So read through this handout carefully and you should complete, um, you should complete the plan uh, here and then the outline 
part three, make an outline. You should do that. Choose your topic, make a plan, make an outline before you come to class on Thursday. You do not need to write your essay. You will do that in class on Thursday. If you have any questions, please send me an email. I'll try to check email as frequently as I can. Um, otherwise, I will see you in class on Thursday. So no class on Tuesday. We will see each other on Thursday, same Zoom link. Thank you so much, guys. Uh, I will see you soon.